I will do anything for gifts. I will do anything for gifts. I will do anything for gifts. But pegging, I won't do that. No way, no, I won't do that. I'll cover you in holy water if you get too hot. Yo, how is everybody doing? Keeping well, keeping safe, keeping sexy. You know by now how we roll. Now, I've been to Charlie's at Rotherham. Yeah, always a treat. Always good to go to Charlie's. Now, I picked up a load of bits which I want to play again. You know? A few look interesting, a few look ravishing. A few look like, hmm, is it a staple? Do I need it? And a Game Boy Advance game. Now, this Game Boy Advance game, it was in a protector already. It's boxed, it's complete. And I thought, have I got a bargain? For the price I paid, yeah. But when I check later on, it's not really worth a lot, which is weird. You know, I thought it would have been. But yeah, I've got it for cheap enough, so I've still, you know what I mean, come off good. But yeah, the Game Boy Advance game is But Ugly Martians. Kind of looks a bit like Teresa, you know, from uh, Crochet Club. Yeah, but ugly Martians, BK and Battles. Yeah, kind of looks all right. Box is decent. It's uh, it's not excellent, but it's decent. You know, a few little crinkles and stuff, but yeah, it is what it is for that. Now, I've got a load of PS2 games, which you might know, you might not know. When the PS2 come out, yeah, we're playing odd game but I got it in me Subaru when I got Kenwood you know TV and I was playing that when I got a bit of time because I went out and about then um, you know mainly like Soul Calibur uh, Rule of Rose and just weird stuff to be fair that I played all good stuff whichever way you look at it so yeah there's loads I didn't pick up and I mean absolutely tons I didn't pick up and I've mentioned on another video I'm not going to really pick up games that I've got for the original Xbox for PS2. There's no need. You know, not unless I see something that's really cheap and think, wow, you know what I mean? I need to pick it up. So, yeah, all these games, I don't want to give a go. So, we've got a game called Titty Crisis. Is there a Titty Crisis? I'm not sure. It seems like there's enough of them out there. Is there? If you've got a Titty Crisis, ring the number down below. one 800 246, 346, chicks with eggs. I don't even know. But yeah, it kind of looks good, that. My first look was, is it a shmup? But it's kind of not. It's, it's an action flight game where your mission is to save helpless people from crime and disaster in a city in turmoil. Well, that sounds good enough for me, you know. Shaven Haven. As Clarissa calls a lady garden. And it's called Call of the King. One hero, endless adventure, infinity possibilities. That kind of looks alright. That's done by Midway. So yeah. Alright for me. Like I say, all these games I do want to try. As with any PS2 game that I'm going to pick up, I do want to play. Because um, why not? I might as well. Now, a game called Freak Out. It says Freak Out, 13 demons, 13 sisters. And this time, Linda is the exorcist. Linda, is it true? I'm not sure. Kind of looks a bit like a platformer type of game. It says unique gameplay, an incredible, flexible 3D world. Outstanding visuals. Mm. Now, I know what people are going to say. You haven't got this? No, like I explained earlier, the PS2 didn't get played that much unless they were in the car, and that is Maximo. I've heard loads of people talk about this game, say so it's really good. I think there's a second one as well in there. And it's a Capcom game. So, yeah, that's always good. Maximo. And as usual, the old boxing complete. The discs are all beautiful. Now we've got one called Dirtbox Devils. No, we aren't. I think that's a different film. 
I think that's a different film. I think I must be talking about a rude one, Dirt Box Devils, Dirt Track Devils. Can you keep up with Dirt Track Devils? Give it a give us your best race via TV across, what is it? Snowy mountains, treacherous forest tracks and sunny beaches. Oof! People know I'm up for racing. So yeah, that's why I got that one. Now, I think it was RGR who was advertising Manscape. I think it was. Well, Manscape really need to reach out for these because, yeah, Janice's Bush is out of control. Fur Fighters, Vigo's Revenge. The fluff is about to hit the fan. Oh. See, yeah, I played Fur Fighters. I haven't played this one. It kind of looks a bit like a cartoon sort of style. Hmm. Thought I'd have to give that a go. James Gurf, codename Robo Gurf. Yeah, everybody's played a James Pond, I'm, I'm sure they have. But yeah, I'm not sure if this one is the same as a Mega Drive, is it? I don't even know. I played Mega Drive ones. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, he's kind of like an unsung hero old Robo Gurf, isn't he? So let's get that one. RS, Riding Spirits. This is the time it's motorbike. Redline your engine and get your heart racing. Mm. Imagine farting on a leather seat at fucking 200 mile an hour on a bike. Oof. Would you feel it? Would it be a massive rumble? I don't even know. Would it increase your speed? Food for thought, people. WRC, rally evolved. Rally racing. Up for it. It actually said with net play on that. Mmm. That's the second one. Extreme. 21 official drivers, all 14 official WRC events. Yeah. And Charlie's always do me a crazy good deal, you know. As soon as you go to pay, he's like, look, knocking this off, knocking this off, you have this for free, knocking this off. Girth discount in abundance. Runabout 3. What's it called, this one? Neo Age. Now, this game is one of my favourite games on the Dreamcast, believe it or not. Super Runabout San Francisco. Absolutely love it. You take the moped out on that, it plays a bit like Crazy Taxi. Bo, bo, bo. Trying to defuse bombs and stuff, like Mission added. Yeah, what a game that one is on Dreamcast. And I've tried this on the PS1, which is Runabout 2, and that were pants. It just couldn't handle, you know, what I'd remembered from the Dreamcast, but that could be in between, you know? So it might be all right. But we'll see. It shows you, yeah. Crazy taxi style driving. So we'll see on that one. I don't even know if they're made by the same people, to be fair. I don't even know. And last up, we've got one, not to be confused with Road Rash. It's Road Rage Free. What do you do? Do you just drive round and like cut people off and like, fuck you, motherfucker? And that next thing, they're fucking lobbing chicken nuggets out because they've been to McDonald's at your car window. Fucking both, both, both. And then they get out and slap them with a Costa coffee cup while pissing on the top lip. I don't even know. Road Rage Free. But it's got official cars on it, Honda, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru and Toyota. So yeah, well worth a trip to Charlie's. Picked up all them, proper good deal. I thought I got an extremely good deal with that Buttergly Martians, but it was really cheap. It's cheap and what I could buy anywhere else, so I ain't bothered. So yeah, everybody, keep safe, keep sexy. Ciao for now. Peace.